Uh, glass music has been around for quite a long time, probably as long as glass itself has been. Uh, Europe discovered glass around the same time that it discovered America in about 1492. And uh, ever since then, it was used a lot in uh, popular entertainments for a long time, played by amateurs, and then gradually came into fashion as a medium for psychotherapy in about the 18th century, around the same time that Benjamin Franklin began to develop fairly elaborate ways of uh, performing on glass instruments where it became almost like a keyboard sort of thing that you could do fairly complex music and fairly complex tonalities playing glass, whereas previously uh, the predominant form had been very much like the tables that we have here in the glass orchestra. Uh, a lot of composers like Mozart and Beethoven and many others use glass in their compositions. Uh, and as glass gradually sort of uh, turned into a keyboard instrument, it lost a lot of its appeal, and then gradually it sort of became a novelty and, uh, until the 20th century when it was revived by people like Harry Parch and a lot of uh, other American composers who've used glass in various kinds of ways in their compositions. Uh, we're probably the first group to do anything uh, in terms of actually doing an entire orchestra out of glass using nothing but glass as a, as a medium for music.
We, the Glass Orchestra, have been together for about four years, and mostly in that time we've been improvising and playing compositions together, for the most part, on traditional instrumentation. Over those four years, we've also experimented with uh, the sonorities of glass in combination with uh, fairly standard instrumentation and orchestration. It was just over about a year ago that we got together and limited ourselves totally to glass and have been working with that for uh, over a year. And just a, a couple months ago, we released an album totally of improvised music uh, done in the studio, which was then edited and used on our album with no overdubbing. It's all just improvisation.
Tonight, a visit to the Russian Winter Arts Festival with Bruno Gerussi in Moscow. Bruno shows us all the sights and sounds, the traditional characters, plus the people and places. Visit Moscow with Bruno Gerussi. Then it's back to Winnipeg for a Ukrainian Christmas with music and songs of the old country. Jerusalem, Moscow and Ukrainian Christmas, starting at 8 p.m. tonight on CBC.